You know, it's a lot of fun. It, it, it just comes to a matter of confidence, you know, coming into the into camp with the full confidence that I am the starter and I have control of this team and just take it from there, really. Matt, is there, do you notice kind of an attitude and a chip on the shoulder of the guys kind of wanting to get better and wanting to kind of complete the swing for this team and get, get on the winning side? Absolutely. You know, in the uh, this past summer, we tried to drop the egos and we uh, our terminology was just, just shut up and work. And uh, I think that's what a lot of kids did and a lot of kids bought in and it's a good mindset to have and it's been productive for the summer and leading into camp. I've been the I've been the fifth quarterback, I've been the fourth quarterback, I've been the third quarterback, and I've been the second quarterback. So I've been to every spot there is. And uh, you know, every single every single spot I've been in, I just said I have to prove the next guy wrong, the next guy wrong, the next guy wrong. And so, you know, if people are dying me, I have to I just have to prove them wrong too. The run game is is a huge part of our offense because the run game opens up the pass game. It opens up our play actions. It gets wide receivers one on one matchups because you have to bring another guy in the box. It's little things like that. And uh, with running backs like Smoke, Jordan Ellis, um, Daniel Hamm, and Albert Reed, you know, those guys are really, really good football players. They're a lot of fun to play with. And just having them in the backfield and as threats it, as running the ball and and throwing to them on checkdowns and things like that, you know, it's uh, it's really effective and I think it'll pay off. And as far as you, you uh, you've shown ability to run. Mm -hmm. you know, how, how much of that do you expect to do this year? And how much have you kind of changed your game knowing that you know, you've got to stay healthy all these games to, to for your team to be Mm, you know, I really have worked on getting to my third and fourth progressions. Um, that's a big part. Last year, I would see my first guy wasn't open. Maybe I'd tuck it. And I think in this past, the past four or five practices, I've really focused on getting to those third and fourth guy and letting um, guys who are faster than me make plays because I, I'm, I'm a quarterback who's going to throw the ball and I'll run it when I need to. And um, I just let the game come to me. I think sometimes if you force a run or you know you try and do too much, bad things are going to happen. And I learned from that last year, and hopefully the experience will lead to um, better decision making this season. You know. When the game ends, there's always, ah, if we would have caught this pass, if I would have made that throw, if I would have got to my check down, if, I, if he would have got out of bounds. The game's not about ifs. It's what happens on the field. So in terms of that, it's a matter of making the most of every single play. You know, when it's third and four and I have to hit the flat route, I'm going to hit the flat route because we need to keep our offense on the field to continue to drive. When it's crunch time and Quinn Blanding needs an interception, you know, I trust him to make that play. And it's, um, I think it's just really focusing on the little things and, and like Kane and said controlling the controllables you know when we can control a first down and getting the first down rather than missing it you know sometimes the defense is going to make plays where they just beat us you know we have a play called and they just have everything covered well and that's kudos to the defense but when we have two guys open and someone gets overthrown that's on me you know I have to control that I need to get the ball in their hands and convert it and make the make the drive alive yeah, I guess I guess we have been a little finesse in the past years, but really the, this season and throughout the spring, they really put the ball in our court as a as a line, as a as a unit to just kind of, hey, this is what we want to do, this is what we want to accomplish. So we're gonna run the stuff as you guys have to get it done. So it's really the players have taken it upon themselves to get that going. It's been a little chippy between uh, the offensive line and defensive line during practice for the last four days. Um, do you feel it's because you have more of a sense of urgency? Yeah, well, I think it's, I think it's great having that out there. I think it really picks up the energy, of the practice. It, it really just the competition between guys. I mean, we've all been playing against each other. I've been playing against Dean since high school, uh, Dante, Andrew Brown, all those guys. We've all been playing against each other. So I think it's it, it, we're definitely we understand the sense of urgency behind this season. So yeah, uh, I just took it upon myself to uh, you know not just do what's required. You know, uh, you know, we have like mandatory workouts, but I take it upon myself to do, you know, extra stuff now because my role has expanded a little bit more. Whether I'm the first guy or not, I know I'm going to get, you know, more touches than I did last year, and I just got to be ready when my number's called. What type of expectations did you have going out <clears throat> school for you know, your head end of your junior year? What did you want to have accomplished by then? Have you met those goals? Have you fallen short of those goals? Uh, that is a great question uh, as far as expectations. Uh, for myself, you know, I just wanted to come in and make plays the best way I can. I can't really tell you what everybody else wanted me to do. I'm pretty sure that's, you know, the same. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I really failed my expectations. You know, uh, my first year I did get hurt and I missed a few games. And then my second year, you know, I think I played my role the best way I could. And this upcoming year, you know, I, I know my uh, role has expanded a lot more and I'm going to be ready when my number is called. You know, being a walk on, you know, it's just one of the added motivational factors. Um, you know, just being from a small place, you know, I just always felt like I had something to prove, I guess. You know, just not being from a very big place, you know, single A school. So, you know, 
just being able to come out and do whatever I needed to do, you know, work hard, you know, do whatever I needed to do to be a part of the team and help the team win. What did you have to learn the most? What was the biggest difference maker for you from four years old to here? Uh, the speed, the speed and the size of the people, you know, everybody's bigger than you, everybody's moving fast, you know, so, you know, being a smaller guy on the field, you know, as a running back, you know, you really got to be able to protect yourself, you know, hold your own, you know, be physical. There's so much talk about the, the depth and the experience on the offensive line this year. From your perspective, how much have you noticed them kind of pushing each other and how is that just making the entire running game better? Uh, it's been it's been a tremendous factor. You know, my first year we had the guys that are in my grade, my year, you know, they were playing, you know, so coming from their first year to now their third year, you know, I've seen them grow mentally and physically, you know, they're stronger, they're smarter, you know, they're doing what they need to do and they, they're, they're really getting the job done. And, you know, I can't say enough about those guys opening up holes the way they are, you know, they're doing a great job. Coach Boyles, you know, he's, he's doing a great job with, with what they're trying to get done. And, you know, it's just helping us in the, in the backfield that much more.